Well, drug companies right about now, executives, they're getting grilled about what lawmakers call the sky-high cost of prescription drugs. Over a six-year period, for example, the cost of insulin nearly doubled, going from $2,800 a year to almost $6,000. Now, top executives from seven big pharma companies are on Capitol Hill right now. Our senior medical correspondent, Elizabeth Cohen, is following today's hearing and joins us live. Welcome, Elizabeth. So we know that Grassley had said, he tweeted out, uh, that he wanted no excuses, excuses today. He only wants solutions. That's a tall order given the back and forth this is not the first time this has been a forefront Oh, absolutely not, Cheyenne. This has really been an issue for decades. But what's different now, as one expert put it to me, he said, Elizabeth, I feel like we're at a tipping point. Finally, the Democrats and the Republicans together are both very angry. They have constituents who are rationing their drugs, and they really do seem to want answers. And they're, you know, the, the senators are being very, very direct with these pharmaceutical uh, executives. You, you mentioned Grassley. He then later said, I'm sick and tired of the blame game. And then Ron Wyden, Senator Wyden said, you know, I was in this room 25 years ago when tobacco executives were in front of us and they lied. That's what Wyden said, that the tobacco executives lie. And Wyden, looking at the pharma executives, said, I expect better from you. So that's that's pretty harsh. Well, do we know what's happening in this meeting so far? Well, so far, we just have these opening statements. But what they're going to get to eventually is they will be grilling these seven executives from big companies, Merck, uh, Pfizer, Sanofi, and asking them, why are drug prices so high? And what can you do to get them to decrease? What can you do to your part to get these drug prices to go down? Now, the pharmaceutical companies have always said, look, you know, R&D, research and development is expensive and we need to recoup our costs. And they also point a figure, a finger rather, at the health insurance company. They say, look, health insurance companies are charging their customers more. They have these big deductibles and they're making the customers pay more. So they're going to point fingers. It'll be interesting to see if there's any common ground here at the end of the hearing. And we know, too, Elizabeth, the president has also taken action on drug pricing and trying to get them down. But yet since January 1st, 650 products have seen price increases. Are these companies even listening? You know, it looked like they were going to. There was a moment months ago, Cheyenne, when it really looked like the drug companies were like, mm, gosh, we have the Senate after us, the House after us, now the president after us. And it looked like they might do more to control costs. But then you have the numbers that you talked to. And that's one of the reasons, Cheyenne, for this hearing today is because everyone was surprised by that. They said, wait a second. You know, you were supposed to you know, listen to what the president said and you didn't. So, again, it'll be interesting to see how they answer that question. And I am sure that will come up in the hearing. Why aren't you listening to us? Much more to come on this one. Elizabeth Cohen, thank you so much. Thanks.